How are you lads? Welcome to an absolutely stunning part of the world. I am on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. I am, yeah, I'm here on my summer holidays with Mrs. Guru, aka Katya. Might be a slight bit of news on that front. And look, I'm on my summer holidays, but at the end of the day, lads, there may or may not be a wedding to pay for in a couple of years, so we have to graft. Holidays are over, it's the last day. I may or may not have had about five beers without lunch on the terrace of uh, the hotel, so we could be a little bit tipsy, a little bit loose. But I'm on my holidays, give me a break. There is an Irish pub around 500 meters down this road called Chaplin's that is, honestly, has been so highly regarded. When I told people I was coming to Italy, I didn't even say I was going to Sorrento. I said I was going to Italy. They said, if you're in Sorrento, go to Chaplin's Bar. It is one of the best Irish bars in the world. Let's be honest, this place doesn't exactly scream Irish bar, highly, holy music. I'm going to see what's it like to run an Irish bar in such a beautiful, picturesque, exotic part of the world. Right after a little stroll up this beautiful strip on a lovely summer's evening, we have arrived at Chaplin's Irish Bar. Let's go in and see the sus. Lads, so I had a lovely reception inside. Mario, one of the owners, born and bred in Sorrento, but he definitely knows his uh, Irish pub crack. He's like, enjoy the mother's milk, gas yes, man. And he knew I was from County Mead. He's obviously done his research, said he's been following the channel for a long time. And then also met a fella, fella called Paddy from Dublin. Sound man poured my pint. Um, and look, it's one of those where they kind of knew I was coming, so you probably are going to get the royal treatment. Royal treatment sound like a wanker, but you know what I mean. <laughs> tulip glass. I'm looking around. There's a few tulip glasses around, and there's a few uh, new style glasses as well. It has to be said because all well and good me getting a tulip glass, but if you're not going to get one when you come, then what good is it? But anyway, it looks fantastic. No bubbles in the head. Grand little bit of damage. Clean glass. Schlange. That's fairly outrageous, to be fair. I know the days of being a full-time Guinness guru, flat out reviewing, are in the past, but it's, it's easy to, to dig it back up when a pint is that good. And like, I think you, you lads just, I don't think you would suspect it of me. I like to think you know I'm an honest guy, you know? Um, honest guy, man of the people, some would say, not my words, but some would say man of the people. But that I wouldn't, just because they, they knew I was coming, I wouldn't just pretend that it was a good pint. I mean, you can see it yourself. That's usually the thing. You can see it. I couldn't sell a shy pint and pretend it was good. It just looks great. I don't know, did they uh, get, the, get the lines? Because I did tell them what time I was coming as well. I don't know, did they clean the lines out just before I got here? That sounds very egotistical and big-headed of me, but you'd swear they did, because that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm genuinely serious. If you got that in Dublin, I'd be happy out. The last place you would expect a good pint of Guinness is here in the beautiful coastal town of Sorrento in Italy on the Amalfi Coast. Yeah, I'm sure they do their limoncello spritz as well, and their wine, and their pizza, and their pasta, but the last thing I would expect is a good pint of G here. And believe it or not, I've gotten it. Jeez, lads, the tunes are just absolutely beautiful. We've got the whistling donkeys on in the background. Green and red and mayo. Is that the right band? Who sings N17? Poor slips. Poor slips. Um, anyway, lads, oh, before we talk to Mario, who seems like a right character, he's trying to tell me all the crack about the glass off camera. I said, save it for the second video, Mario. So he seems like a great crack. Quick shout out to the sponsor of the video. The lads over at Manscaped who have been supporting my good self for the last four years. The summer is ending, I know that, but it doesn't give you an excuse to just be an absolute hairy ape into the winter, lads. You've got to keep it up. Some of us have girlfriends, some of us have fiancés. The standards cannot drop going into winter. 
So you got to keep your below the waist and above the waist grooming on point, meaning the lawnmower 5.0 is an absolutely essential piece of kit. It's got the advanced skin safe technology, reduces the chances of nicking you downstairs. It's been so long since you filmed the video. Um, yeah, um, it's got the LED light just in case the electricity goes off in the gaff. It's waterproof, you can use it in the shower. Two jobs done at once. Manscaped.com, use my code PINTS20 for 20% off plus free shipping. Now let's talk to this mad bastard Mario about running an Irish pub in the middle of this beautiful town of Sorrento. I'm uh, very happy you come here. You make me uh, very happy. I uh, spend all my life here. This bar is my life. Yeah. So, uh, so you got uh, involved here about 10 years ago? 11. 11 years ago. 2014, I started to travel with uh, my cousins around Ireland. Okay. And uh, we bring it in Sorrento. And what was, like, why did you just have this idea? I want to start an Irish bar. Like, what, uh, what was When this? we started the business, was already an Irish bar. Okay. But uh, once uh, the classic Irish bar, uh, you don't feel in an Irish bar. Okay. So we went to Ireland, we started to discover Ireland wow. with a lot of uh, people that are in this business. Yeah. And uh, I bring that in Sorrento. Amazing. The main thing for sure uh, is uh, be welcome and friendly with everybody. Yeah, of course. That's, why, that's why we have a lot of uh, good uh, friends all over Ireland. Yeah. And, uh, Every day you can see here, they come and they already know our uh, name. Yeah. Was 11 years, I spend uh, almost all my life here. I spend more time with Irish people <laughs> than uh, with my family. Yeah, and you're born and bred in Sorrento. Born and bred in Sorrento. Yeah. And, and what uh, did you do before? I always worked uh, in a restaurant, okay. bar, hotel, yeah. so I studied for that. Yeah. Then I have a chance to take the business. And something about the Irish yeah. bar, you were just like, I want to yeah. get that. Till 2019, was only one door. Then 2019, we expand the bar. Okay. So we make it double. Yeah. We do uh, live music, we have all the sport events, and uh, a lot, a lot of reference in Ireland. And what were you saying to me about the Guinness and the glass? Uh, Guinness is started to be an obsession for me. Yeah. Uh, so I, <laughs> I research about everything. Mm. I have short line, we clean it every week. We have the special glass. This old glass you don't found anywhere. We have just 20 left and we give only to the Irish person. So, you know, uh, somebody, know the, know, known, they don't know that, yeah. but an Irish person, they want yeah. this glass. Okay, yeah. It's so, very, I take impressed. care because uh, I don't want anybody smash it. Yeah. yeah, and if you see someone walk out with it in the exactly. pocket, you'll jump on top no, of it. No, but uh, it will not happen because we are very focused in our job. Yeah. So there's always somebody outside and uh, full staff. Yeah. We have uh, Irish staff, so I want the people, they leave this door and they say, oh my God, I found finally a proper Irish bar outside Italy, outside Ireland, sorry. Yeah, because I'll be honest, like I, I said, I, I know Italian people, it's, it's all about the... Uh, you know, pasta, the, pizza. Pasta, pizza, the wine, the limoncello. The last thing I expected yeah. was a, a really good Irish bar in the middle of Sorrento. Exactly. So you guys uh, do a pretty good job. The welcome for me is the main thing. Yeah. So, but uh, sure, the Guinness is the main thing in an Irish bar, but be welcome and friendly is yeah. the most beautiful thing because the people, they come back here, you make welcome them, yeah. you go to Ireland, and they, do, they will do the double for you. Yeah, because okay. I stayed uh, with a lot of customers. Where do you like to go Ireland. in Ireland? I've been to Dublin, Cork, Galway, Kilkenny, Mayo, Kerry, Glendalak, Belfast, so, so I did year, a lot. Every year, do you just say, okay, I want to go to a new place, yeah. or are you just going to say? No, no, I, I, every year I go to a new place. Okay. For sure, I like the countryside, because when you yeah. think about Ireland, you match the green. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for me, uh, it's good to be just with Irish people. Yeah. So you go, if you go in a, in a country pub, you mm. found just Irish people. Okay. Okay. Instead of going to Temple Bar. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to say that. I want to don't mention that, but yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. And th there you found the real atmosphere. Yeah. And I guess yeah, if you want to create an Irish pub with an Irish feeling, 
you need to go to those pubs exactly. in the countryside. Exactly. Because I always say the sign of a good Irish bar is when you go in, you feel like you've been transported exactly. from a busy, usually a big city. This is like a smaller city, but say even in Rome or something, like a big massive city, you walk in the door, you want to feel cozy. Exactly. Irish bars are kind of, they're, they're not small, but they're not like in America, you know, it's big open rooms. In Ireland, it's little corners. Exactly. And, it's yeah. a medium size. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, because I'm Italian and people they jump in the bar, also if we have Irish stuff, we need to talk with the customer. Yeah. So talking where you come from, what are you doing here? Yeah. Now you are from me, they say Open the Royal. It's a small thing, but it's a massive thing. Because no, if somebody is from, from Clare, I will say Open the Banner. Yeah. And if comes somebody from Cork, I will say Open the Rebel. Yeah. You know? It's you. A small a thing, yeah. but uh, are very important. I try to speak with the big Gaelic as well. Yeah. You speak a bit of Gaelic. Come on, Yeah, you probably speak it better than me. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Honest to God, no, yeah. that is that's such a huge thing. Like the 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 small little thing. Just some, you say where you're from, a county, and you're learning the little thing about the county. Like it's it doesn't take that much effort. But it's a lot. If, yeah. If, if it'll go, it'll go a little bit. Will go such a long way. Yeah. Um, and what's your? Do you have any big dreams for this place, or you just want to keep it going as well? As My it's going? Uh, biggest dream busy. is uh, the people left the door. Uh, they, they don't forget this bar. They don't yeah. forget us. Yeah. This is the best you can do because uh, you can buy everything, but you can't buy a friendship. Ah. We have to end it yeah, on that, yeah. Mario. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much for everything. Gormila Mogot. Ta fortuno. Grazie mille. Gormila mille Mogot. And the Guinea Guinea Scuro is the best man in the world. <laughs>